Hey everybody, so uh, let's take another look at Ableton Live with Touch OSC. Apparently a lot of people use Ableton Live with Touch OSC, uh, and of course you have to work with a patcher. So what we're gonna do is set up a template, and we're gonna receive some OSC information, uh, including play state, uh, your tempo, and the measure number, the beat number, uh, just some basic information for your template. Now, if you haven't seen my last video about Ableton Live, uh, where I showed how you can use OSC messages with a patcher, uh, you're gonna wanna go ahead and watch that again because we're gonna build off of that template, so that patch template. You could also download that or copy and paste it from the link below uh, and you can get that information. So there are a million ways to work with Ableton Live patches and this is just one of many. So maybe you have a better way to do some of these things. Be sure to share that with the community and you can throw those down in the comments below if you so care to do so. And also as always, if you have questions about uh, making the patch or uh, using the Touch OSC template, you can also throw those in the comments below. And also be sure to subscribe to the channel as we cover a lot of different stuff here. So we're gonna start with Touch OSC in the desktop editor. So this template here is just something new that I've made. I threw in some tracks, some faders down here. Uh, they don't do anything, but this just kind of gives an example of how you could make a template similar. So what we're gonna do, the first thing we're gonna receive, let's see the play state. So let's go ahead and add a button and uh, this is a fine size, and we're gonna throw this into the corner here. And I'm actually going to add another box, and I'm gonna turn this into a triangle. And I want this to face east, so it's facing this way. And I'm just gonna make this black. And I'm gonna throw this over here, make it a little bit smaller, but you'll see why this will be cool. And then this button is going to receive an OSC message from Ableton Live. So we need to add an OSC message for it to receive. So let's select this button here, and then let's go ahead and add an OSC message. And this is gonna be a constant, and what we're gonna call it is just play. So you select the address, this uh, little uh, constant here, and it's just gonna be slash play. And that could be confusing if you have a play button in your template. So maybe you want to call it play state uh, for this template. That's all we need. But you may want to check that and make sure it's not conflicting with anything in your template. So we have play here. And I'm actually going to make the color of this white. And we're going to add something more to it. Let's go ahead and add a local message. And then we're going to use the eyedropper tool to select ourself. And then uh, property, I want to impact the color, and that's red. And we're gonna change the scale from one, zero. And then we're actually gonna add another one. You'll see why in a minute. Let's add another local message. And we'll select again, just the button. And what we're gonna impact now is blue. And again, we're gonna go to one, zero. So that's our play state button. And this is going to show when our Ableton Live project is playing. And actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of the outline. So now it's just a box. The next thing we wanna know is the bar information or the measure number. So let's go ahead and add a label, put this here, and I'm actually gonna add some text above it and we'll get rid of the background, we'll get rid of the outline. And then this is gonna be called bar. And so you can make this smaller and throw it above so we can see that. And this, we can make this smaller as well. Now I want to get rid of the background. Um, and actually I'm going to change the outline from corners to full so that it's fully encircling this. And so this is going to be showing the bar number. And let's copy this, paste. And then this is actually gonna be beat. So like the beat. 
number of your project. So now in these labels, we have to receive the OSC message for the bar and the beat. So let's select this first one and let's go ahead and add an OSC message. And it's pretty simple, just like the play one, the play state one. Uh, we're just gonna make another constant and that's just gonna, I'm just gonna call this one bar. And then the one for beat, I'm going to add an OSC message. And I'm gonna call this one beat. The other thing I'm gonna do this uh, is I'm gonna change the color. So I want this one to be yellow. And now let's go ahead and add the tempo. So we'll copy this, paste that over here, and we'll change this to tempo. And you may have to make this a little bit bigger. And tempo, let's make this blue. And then whatever you want that OSC message to be, I'm going to change it from beat to tempo. And that's that. So now in these labels that we've created in our template, they will populate automatically with the up-to-date information from Ableton. So now what we need is a patch in Ableton that can send all of this information to TouchOSC. And one thing to remember with working with TouchOSC is, is it connected to your computer device, right? So are you using it via wire or wireless? So I'm not sending MIDI messages over Wi-Fi, so I don't need the bridge, um, but make sure that your connections and your ports are all set up because you'll need those in Ableton Live in the patch to make sure that this can communicate with TouchOSC. So here we are in Ableton Live, and this is a brand new project. There's nothing in this except the patch that we created in the last video about Ableton Live, I've already dropped this in. So if you don't have it already, make sure you put this in your project. And let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at it. So this patch, we're gonna have to make some changes, but if you recall from before, this is the IP address for your uh, tablet device and the port that it is receiving. So you'll have to make sure you update those. So let's go ahead and add what we need to send the information to our touch OSC template. So let's go ahead and leave presentation mode. And what we're gonna add here, let's move this. This is the information of sending the track name. Let's go ahead and move this over. We don't need this right now. And we're gonna add something called plug sync, plug in sync. So double click here. And what we want is plug sync, perfect. And you can see it adds about nine different nodes here. Uh, that's gonna be really important. And I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. And so each one of these, you can kind of mouse over it and see what they're doing. This one is play state. Um, and then we have the bar, current bar count, current beat count, and on it goes. So you can send more information. You could even send your um, time signature could also send uh, the ticks like within a beat and that could be really useful but for what we're doing right now we're just going to pull uh, these four uh, information slots so the first thing let's add something for our tempo so let's double click in here and we want number so display an output number and this is uh, this node right here so tempo and we're just going to drag that and connect that and you can see it's already updated our tempo. And then we need to send that message somewhere. So double click down here and let's add a message. And this message here is gonna be the one that's sending the tempo. And then we need a dollar sign one. And this is gonna send, this is the address, the OSC address uh, in our touch OSC template. And then there's one thing left to send this, which is it's got to connect to our device. And over here, as you can see, what we did with sending the track was we used the send T name, and that's how we got it here. So we can actually use this same one. So we're going to take this, copy, paste that, put this down here, and then this will send through. So real quick, let's just save this and close out. And now if you look at our iPad, it already has the tempo already set. And let's increase the tempo. 
You can see as I'm changing it in Ableton, it's changing it on the iPad. Great, so let's connect everything else. So let's open this back up, leave presentation mode. And what we need to do is something similar for the rest of these. So I want to add one thing, change, and this filters out rep repetition of a number. I don't know if you really need it, but I've been using it. And you're going to pull that in here. And then we're going to send this to a message. So let's double click down here, message. And this is our play state. So let's drag this down. And if you remember, the uh, name of our OSC message was play. And then the last thing for this is we need to copy and paste this so that it's sending to our outgoing port. And then we're going to add another message. Let's move these things over. I'm going to keep this down here just so that all the messages are in line. And actually, you could copy and paste this just because I'm showing you the different ways you can do all of this. And this is going to be our beat, or actually our bar. So we click in here, bar, and then this one is going to be beat. And just because I want to keep things organized, we're going to change the color of these to correspond with the color of our labels. So if you hit, uh, and I'm on a PC, control I, that opens the inspector. And so bar here, we're going to change this background to what we were using in the template, which is red. And then beat, which was using yellow. And then tempo, which was using blue. Great, so now it's uh, a little more organized. And so this here, this one is the current bar count. This one is the current beat count. We'll drag that in. And then just like before, we need to add the destination port. So we'll copy and paste those. And then you're all set to go. So let's go ahead and save this and close out. Now here, looking at my wonderful orchestration, there's nothing going on, but let's just go ahead and press play. And you can see that our green light is on. And the reason it is green is because of the colors that we have going for the local message. Our bar count is moving and our beat is counting. Now, if we hit stop, our light goes out. So you could change the color of the icon to match your template. So that play state icon, uh, it is showing green and that's because of the local messages that we had, uh, which were blue and red. So if you wanted to change that to something else, you could definitely do that. Now let's increase our tempo here. And that is changing on our iPad. And then we'll just select a different spot here. And you can see it is showing that we're playing, it's showing the bar, and it's showing the beat number. So as you can see, it's very simple to add on to what we had before with the Max for Live patch. Uh, there's a lot more you can do with plug sync, including the time signature. You can also add uh, seconds as they go by. Um, that's something we can look at at another time. And of course, there's more to show, like perhaps you want to see the scene or the locators as you're passing them by. We'll take a look at that in another video. But hopefully you've learned something today and you can like this video and be sure to subscribe to the channel as we take a look at more. All right. Thanks for checking out the video and I'll see you next time.